First Timothy 3.16 ends with these four words, received up into glory. The finale of Jesus' uh, presence here on the earth, his uh, visit he really didn't come to stay, he came to die. And the finale, the conclusion, uh, was received up into glory. It's quite a reception. This was not a reception as a guest. He was a guest here. He's not a guest there. Mark sixteen nineteen. This is how Mark concludes his gospel. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. So there's some more light shed on Jesus' ascension. He was received not as an angel, not as a seraph, not as a cherubim. He was received as Lord. He sat on the right hand of God. Amen. He didn't take it. This was not a um, rebellion. It was given to him. He's, it's wor he's worthy that he sit at the right hand of God. This is, the, this is the place of power, the place of honor, the place of authority. It's always when God does his pleasure, it's always with his right hand. Mm -hmm. And you remember the good pleasure of the Lord prospered in Jesus' hand. So when he re was received back up into glory, he sat at the right hand of God. Now this is not an unfamiliar place to him. As he was in the beginning, he was with God. And he was God as the Word. But now he, he, did not, he was not received again as the Word. He was received as the Son of Man. He's received as the Lord of glory. As Psalms 24 says, open for the, that the King of glory may, may come in. So he didn't visit earth and then simply resume his place in eternity as, it, as he was before. He took off in him the form of a servant, and he humbled himself, and he went back. He was received as a man, a glorified man. Now, this didn't appear at all when he was in the world. He told it to his apostles behind closed doors, so to speak, sometimes in the garden, but whatever place it was that he said, I'm going to ascend to my father and your father, and it's, it's uh, expedient for you that I go away. He didn't say that to the 5,000 that he fed. He didn't say that to the multitudes on the shore when he was sitting in the boat. He, he said that to select few. It didn't appear that he was going to be received up into glory. Think about what a contrast when they said, we will not have this man to reign over us. Then just remember, He'll be received up into glory. Just think about that time when he was. there was such a commotion. They drug him out to the edge of town, and they were going to throw him over the cliff. He was received up into glory. Amen. Quite a contrast, isn't it? Amen. Just think of that. Just contrast this ascension with, we have a law, and by our law, he ought to die. When He, he actually was the only one that fulfilled the law. He was the embodiment of the law. By our law, by our law. You hear the pride in that? By our law, he ought to die. He was received up into glory. There were a few who saw, like Mary who uh, washed the Lord's feet, that woman who wept on his feet. There, there were a few, like Peter who... We've, Lord, we've left all. Lord, to whom shall we go? After this great mass exodus of people who had been following the Lord, and they hear about this drinking of blood and eating of his flesh, and they, that's enough for us, and they left. And Peter, his response was, to, to whom shall we go? Where are they going? Because they saw. They saw the glory that belonged to him. Mm -hmm. And Paul summarized, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Godliness in man is what he's talking about. It's the imputation of godliness. Mm -hmm. It's not a great... The, the godliness of God is not the mystery here. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
God was manifest in the flesh, and only a few saw it. Justified in the spirit. That's going, that's, that's going to be like a main, a main subject in the day of judgment. Jesus is going to be exonerated. When he left the world, he looked like he was condemned. But there, there's going to be more said. Justified in the spirit. Seen of angels. Boy, nothing missed their sight. Just imagine these angels rejoiced when God created the world. Just imagine what kind of attention they gave when Jesus entered into the world. We know that they sang and they proclaimed Hosanna in the highest when he was born. Don't think that for a second they looked away for those 33 years. Seen of angels, nothing escaped their notice. And even now, nothing escapes their notice because he, they are still watching him work in the world. He it is that has shed forth this, which you now see and hear. And that day hasn't ended yet. Jesus is still shedding forth. When you see newness of life in people around you, you can say, he has shed forth this, which I now see and hear. Amen. Scene of angels preached unto the Gentiles. He's still being preached. Unto the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. This is, like, this is the highest commendation of any man or woman. He believes. They believe on Jesus. It's the highest, it's the highest status. Amen. It's the greatest work. In fact, it's the work of God to believe on him whom he has sent. Amen. Believed on in the world. What a summary. Received up into glory. Now again, he's not, he's not received as a uh, bystander. He's not received as a spectator. He's not, he's not even received as a spectacle. He's received as Lord. He's reigning. All power in heaven and earth has been given to him. That's, that's the kind of reception that he's been, that he has received. I've been received into people's houses where I didn't, really didn't feel welcome. Really didn't feel at ease. I wasn't ministered to. This is not... Jesus didn't enter like this. Jesus entered with honor. All the angels of God are worshiping him by the commandment of God. All the angels. And in the, in the day of glory, or in the day of, uh, in the day of the Lord, in glory, then he will still be the subject of worship. Uh, every, every crown is going to be cast at his feet. Every Every, every glory belongs to him. He's received up into glory. And he still today has the honor, the same honor that he did that day when, when the angels appeared to the men of Galilee as they were, they were looking up, the, the clouds had received him out of their sight. And the angel, and I remember the scene of angels, the angel said, what, men of Galilee, why do you stand there looking up? Things were more apparent. They were more observable to them than they were to the, to the men of Galilee, to the, to the apostles that day. He said, don't you know that he who uh, ascended up into clouds out of your sight, he's going to come back into your sight in the same way? Don't you know that? Well, they did. Technically, they did. But it was more obvious to the angels. Well, there's coming a day that this one that has been received up into glory, he will be seen of all men, even those who pierced him. This is the one we're looking for. Because we know he's coming again. Yeah. It's been revealed to us that he's received up into glory. And this is the one that we're remembering at this table. Yeah. Let's pray. Father.